Verse 15, Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing. put it in there because I have to go there. But inwardly they are ravening wolves. This scripture is saying to the believer, stay alert. Be on guard of those that come to deceive you with their enticing words. It will look like the gospel. It will have sounds like the gospel. It will have it will have sounds like the gospel. The piano would sound like the gospel. The guitar would sound like the gospel. The drums would sound like the gospel. The preacher would have sounds similar to the... There will be sounds coming out of his mouth similar to the gospel. It will cause you to believe that you've become better without the cross. It will not require repentance. It will not require holiness. It will not require the altar. It will not require faithfulness. This gospel is corrupt. It sounds like the gospel, but it's not the gospel. This gospel will send your soul to a devil's hell. For my Bible declares, 2 Timothy 3 and 5, having a form of of godliness, but denying the power thereof. From such Run away. don't look back at Sodom. You should have said amen better than that. Don't look back, but to Jesus. From such turn away. You may say today, what power is this gospel denying? The power of the cross. The redeeming power of the cross. Are you with me today? It will sound like the gospel. It will deny the blood that flowed down the bruised and beaten body of my Savior. Don't look back. Keep marching, soldier of Christ. Keep the cross as the forefront of your faith. This is where I go when I can't go nowhere else. I look to Jesus. I don't look back at Sodom. I don't look at any other gospel. I look to Jesus. Where else can I go seeking a refuge for my soul, needing a friend to save me in the end? Where else can I go but to the Lord you may say today? But I heard them say, Jesus, I heard them talk about a miracle he performed. I heard them occasionally mention his name. Can I preach today? Or would you rather get a motivational speech? We'll get happy for a minute and it all fade away. Let's talk about real life. For a moment, let's talk about what's really going on. This pulpit is meant to hold a Bible. Hallelujah. It's meant for a Bible. Mm. These mi microphones are used to magnify His name. These musical instruments are meant to praise the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. 2 Corinthians 11 and 4. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus. If he preaches another Jesus whom ye have not preached. Or if you receive another spirit which you have not received. Or another gospel which ye have not accepted. Ye might well bear with him. I don't have another reason to sing. I've never found anyone else to worship. I've not found anything else to praise. I've never found another book to base my sermons on. I've never found another motivation except the cross. I've never found another healer. I've never found another deliverer. I've never found anyone else to rescue. I've not found anyone else to pick me up. For it was Peter sinking in the water. He didn't need another Jesus. He needed the one that the winds and the seas would obey. He needed the one that just with his words, the waves would cease. With just his words, the winds would stop. He didn't need another Jesus. And he reached down his hand for Peter. 
He was rescued. I don't need another Jesus. When my baby's sick, I don't need another Jesus. When my life's in shambles, I don't need another Jesus. When I feel all alone, I don't need another Jesus. When I lay my head down at night and hell screams my name, I need the same Jesus that my grandfather trusted in in the dark times of life. I need the same Jesus that my mama called on when she faces the troubles in her life. I need the same Jesus that my father called on when someone said, give up on that church. Give up on that ministry. But, but because of Jesus, not another Jesus, I'm standing here today declaring the word of God. Not only that you can hear it, but that someone in India can click on a YouTube channel and be minister to with the real Jesus. Not another Jesus. Hallelujah. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the perfecter of my faith. You see, I don't need a new gospel or a new revelation. I need the Jesus that saw my grandfather through. And this same Jesus will see you through. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Bless his name. Bless his name. His holy, righteous name. There's nobody like the Lord. I don't need another Jesus. I need the nail scarred hand. I need the bruised in body of the Savior. I need the nail pierced feet. I need, I need the, uh, hallelujah. I need Jesus, the one that was bruised and beaten. The one that said, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. I will give you rest. There's not another Jesus. There's only one. 